Uh, I'm Sarah Amodio. Mm -hmm. I'm the head teacher at the school and I've been at UMC and worked at UMC for about eight years. Mm -hmm. um, started at uh, with the ESL and then sort of taught everything mm -hmm. um, and now I'm doing part administration and I still teach. Um, our ESL program covers levels, right now, levels 4 to level 12. Mm -hmm. um, there are uh, other years that, or other terms that we have lower, a little bit lower mm -hmm. level. Um, and we teach all four skills, listening, speaking, writing, and reading. And often our students will go into, uh, after completing certain uh, levels of the uh, ESL, they might go into specialty courses, and then they might come back again. So we also, um, at, the, at level 12, have an option for an EAP course, which is a kind of a bridgeway three-month course to prepare students for college. I've been teaching for a long time, um, but there's always a sense of family here. Uh, I know that's a bit of a cliche, but we do, it's, it, because it's not a huge school, it's a, a good size school, but um, our students tend to bond uh, and they like the atmosphere here. Um, it's very caring, very nurturing. Um, a lot of our students leave and then they'll come back a year after, after they've made more money where they can continue on taking courses. Um, I love the multiculturalism um, that we, you know, that we have here and we do try to foster relationships with each other. So lots of students will, you know, they'll come from different countries and make friendships with other students and their only commonality is that they can speak English to each other. So building that um, that communication is, is really super important to us. Mm -hmm. It also provides an opportunity for students to learn through other students. Yeah. There's some classes that are a little smaller, they might be eight to ten, mm -hmm. and it, providing that there's space and um, there's other classes that are f maybe 14, Keep in mind that when there is a larger, not always, but when there is a larger class, it makes it easier for interaction, yeah. which is really important for students to interact and talk, work together on projects and things like that. Uh, we have Latin South America, so places like Colombia. Mm -hmm. My particular class, I have three or four from Colombia, mm -hmm. one from Ecuador, mm -hmm. and one from Brazil. Um, times At other times we get from Mexico, Panama. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sometimes from Europe. Mm -hmm. It could be France um, or other countries, non-English speaking countries. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our students are Asian, mm -hmm. so they may come from um, places like Vietnam, uh, South Korea, uh, China, Taiwan, mm -hmm. um, Japan. Um, we also get from um, I think the emphasis is not on just passing. I think yeah. the emphasis here is the journey, mm -hmm. the Canadian journey and also the learning journey. And yeah. I always tell my students, the fingers are different, the students are different. So development is different. Mm -hmm. And I think recognizing that as a teacher, mm -hmm. that development comes at different times. Mm -hmm. I think everybody knows, you know, when you're 19 or when you're 24, mm -hmm. you're your priorities are different, your learning ability is different, and your desire to learn is different. So we try to um, see each student separately, individually, and work on the skills and the talent that they have, mm -hmm. and build their confidence, and let them know that if they're not developing, try to help them in areas, ask them what they need. Mm -hmm. and how we can help them. And if they don't know, well, we can probably suggest something. But we work with each student individually, I think. Um, definitely building their confidence. I mean, students come in every day and they say, oh, I, I don't speak well, I don't listen well. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not that, it's just, it's a muscle. It yeah. just needs practice and mm -hmm. um, somebody who's, you know, can encourage them to do so, support them. This is a very low level class, level four. Some of the students are really not at level four. Mm -hmm. um, I have students that have grammar at level seven and eight, but their confidence in speaking isn't there. So it's difficult to give feedback to a student if they're not talking. So my priority first is to make the learning experience, the classroom atmosphere, a safe place, a place where they can, um, you know, they can foster uh, relationships with each other and know that they don't have to be perfect, that that's just a matter of time that they can improve and get better and that everything is okay.